What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with Hit High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. This is for the sign of Leo for week two of November of 2021. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Midheim or Jupiter. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, I know I missed week one of Leo. I only did four signs, but I'm catching up now. So we're at week two and we will catch up, just saying, from week two on. Um, I got two channeled in as I was meditating on your weekly um, energy. And the first one I heard was um, uh, mega manifestation. I'm sorry. The first one I heard, things are about to start going really, really fast for some. And then I heard um, mega manifestation for some. So you plug it in however that resonates. If that resonates for you, um, things are about to go start going. So the wheel's about to start turning really fast for some of you guys, like the Wheel of Fortune. Now, you know, that can go in your favor or not in your favor. But then I heard mega manifestation for some. So things are about to start going really fast for some. Um, so fast. The wheel is about to start going really fast. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. And then mega manifestation for some. So mega manifestation is bringing lots of something into your life, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's uh, that can go positive or negative, too. Now. That can go positive or negative, too. Hopefully, it's on the positive side, like money, um, career, um, promotions, um, bonuses, raises, if you're employed, um, may, or maybe if you're self-employed, your business just starts speak, spiking up in a very positive way. Or on the negative side, it could be you're bringing in too many ener energies in your life. They're sucking the hell out of you, sucking the life force out of you. Maybe you get stole from physically. Maybe you get your house broken into. Um, that could be on the negative side, um, if you bring too many negative forces into your life. So it can go positive or negative is what I'm trying to say, but some kind of mega, a mega manifestation energy, it can either go very positive very quickly or very negative very quickly. So just, um, I would be mindful of who you're bringing into your life, who you're allowing in your life, um, that sort of thing, who you're around, what you're doing, just be aware, um, if that resonates, okay? This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspect to your charts. Justice upright, the sun upright. Yeah, and you got like the two freaking biggest, um, coolest, nicest, best cards in the freaking tarot together, too. Just want to say. So for some, you could be dealing with the Libra and a Leo, possibly, or not. If you are, they could have Libra or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the Venus, or Jupiter. You plug it in, how it resonates, but your energy with the sun and then Libra and Libra and energy upright. Through many series of chain of events very soon, a Leo is about to get very overdue justice. Some in the judicial system, some universally, some both. Very well deserved. The truth is about to come out in a huge way. Huge. And quickly. It's going to be very positive for this Leo. High vibrational Leo. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, well, kudos to whoever this is for. You're a high vibrational Leo. Now, you know, we, you can be high vibrational or low vibrational. It's how you manifest and grow yourself and uh, manifest and grow others and conduct yourself and, and that thing, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, if you, if you are dealing with a low vibrational Leo or you a low vibrational Leo, that's not for you, but this is for high vibrational Leos. You plug it in how it resonates. But, I heard for some of you guys, you're about to get actually um, justice in the judicial system. So judicial, like the court of law. And for some, it's universal justice. And for some, it's both. So for some, it's court of law and universally, as in the 3D. For some, it's one of those. Universally in the 3D. For some, it is court of law. You plug it in how it resonates. Because I heard the truth's coming out. It's about to come out very fast. So I think somebody is about to display the truth about some kind of situation you were involved in, involved in, whether you wanted to be involved in it or not be involved in it. And it's going to um, shine the light on the situation, bring happiness to you because whoever this is for, I don't, 
I think you were either not in the wrong in the situation or you didn't want to be involved in the situation and it was some kind of horrible situation. You don't want to be involved in it. Uh, but I don't feel you were in the wrong per se in it is what I'm trying to say. Or you didn't want to be in the wrong in it. And um, it's about to be, the light's about to be shown on it. Sun energy, the light's about to be shown on it. And um, it's going to give you justice. Either, like I said, in the 3D um, in the world. Um, that could be the mega manifestation energy as well. The light's being shown on it, and it's going to open you up to new possibilities, new um, avenues, new business opportunities, new employment opportunities, new career opportunities, or the justice system helping, you know, helping you in the justice system to help you move on or protect you in some shape, form, or fashion. However that resonates, it really could resonate a million different ways for a million different people, but it's going to leave you very happy. Sun upright. It's not sun reversed. It's not going to leave you unhappy. It's going to leave you happy. Um, that the light is being shown on this truth and clarity and honesty. It's going to, the light's being shown, leaving you happy. Your energy all day long, justice being served. I strongly feel for some of you are dealing with the Libra. Um, if you're not, they could have, you know, they don't have to have Libra, but for some, I do strongly feel you are, but scales are going to be balanced, leaving you very happy, basically. Um, kudos to you. Some, and I think that's the mega manifestation energy as well for some of you guys. But I heard that specifically for a high vibrational Leo. So I do feel there are some low, low vibrational Leos that watch, obviously, because I heard specifically high vibrational Leo. But, you know, you can always raise your manifestation. I mean, not your manifestation. Well, you can do that too, but raise your vibration is what I'm saying. You don't have to remain low vibrational. It's how you grow and manifest yourself. Um, but good, good. This is very good energy for who that's for. Nine of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. A very selfish, greedy water sign has stole from you in a huge way and has copied you. However, they are about to have se several negative tower moments are about to occur in their life. And they, for some, are going to have to pay you back the money they stole from you. And for some, other negative tower moments. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if this resonates for you. So you're dealing with a selfish, greedy, water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is their energy. Um, unloving, ungiving, unkind towards you. I heard for some, they copied you um, and stole from you financially. So, um... I mean, so they probably copied your look, copied your style, or copied the way you act or interact with people, like, um, to try to be like you or to be like you, um, strictly because they knew that you were going to be successful. They knew that you were, um, that you were on the right path and they wanted to be on the right path. They want to tell you they were copying you or, and for some, they stole money from you. Um, but I heard there, some the ones that stole money from you are going to have to pay you back soon, and they're going to be very, very pissed. I heard they're very greedy and very selfish, so they obviously didn't tell you they stole the money from you. If it is money they stole from you, um, for some, it could be just copying your style, copying your, the way you interact with people, the way you speak to people, the way you, um, um, you know, you have vibrational energy. For some, it could have been two or more, the money and the copying the way you act or look or whatever. But I heard uh, the ones that stole money from you, they're going to have to um, pay it back soon. They're going to be very pissed. But they do not regret stealing the money from you. Not a source reverse. No stress, anxiety, worry, fear. They don't have any regrets stealing the money from you. Um, and I heard other negative tower moments are going to occur for them too. So I wonder if jail or prison or both occurs for them. Um, that could be the judicial justice possibly for some of you guys, because I mean, this is large theft energy I'm feeling. I don't feel it's like 20 bucks or 60 bucks. I mean, I feel it's a large amount of money. I heard they have, this water sign has no regrets. So if, you know, they would have went on stealing the money from you and had no regrets about it, none whatsoever. Um, they don't, they have no remorse. It's like narcissistic energy. They have, they have no remorse, no um, period. Um, they just, they were out for their selfish thing. But uh, they have another thing coming very soon. 
Huge wake up call. Okay, I heard they have another thing coming soon, a huge wake up call. So they have another thing coming soon, a huge wake up call. So they're about to get a, a dose of reality, basically. Um, and they're going to have to pay this, you this money back. They have no regrets that they did it, but somebody's about to find out that they did steal this money from you. And I feel for some, it's in the judicial system, and they're about to um, make it right, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Good. We'll do one more. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. This feminine water sign has serious mental issues. And they are about to be made very publicly known. Many series cha of chain of events is about to occur for this person. They're not going to like. Okay, so you plug in. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Okay, so this person that stole your money, a large amount of money for you guys, some of you guys, um, I heard they have serious, like, mental, um, you know, um, like a, they have, like, a, some kind of mental disturbance. Um that could be one thing. It could be two or more things, but some kind of mental disturbance. But I heard serious. It's serious, but I heard it's about to be made very public, uh, known very public very soon. And basically, negative series of chain of events is going to occur for this person. So uh, maybe for some, they have to undergo some kind of treatment, possibly. They don't want to undergo or go see someone they don't want to see. And then negative series of chain of events occur. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of admission of some kind of mental health disorder or disorders or something to do on the mental health spectrum, however that resonates, is about to be made very known, very public, very soon about this person. And it's going to piss them off. It's going to piss them off because um, they don't want it being made known, basically. Um, and they're going to have to pay you back the money for some. So you plug it in how that resonates. The devil upright, judgment upright. Our Leo's tires are about to get slashed soon. The police will probably get called. And a serious stabbing is about to occur. Very serious. It's going to be very known in the community. It'd be wise to protect yourself away from nasty people. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is terrible. This is terrible. Oh my god. You plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. Dear god. So I heard uh, Leo's tires are about to get slashed soon. So um, that could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's tires are about to get sl slashed soon. I heard the police are probably going to get involved. So um, it's a Leo's tires. So I don't think it's you out slashing somebody's tires because um, I heard a Leo. I didn't hear someone. So it's a Leo's tires about to get slashed. I heard the um, police are probably getting called. So I think you're going to call the police if your tires get slashed is what I think. Um, and I don't blame you. Um, and then I heard there's going to be some kind of serious stabbing that's going to be made very known in the public and, and community. Um, I heard it'd be best to protect yourself from negative energy. So, you know, don't put yourself around people that like to stab people or that have anger and malice and nastiness in their heart to where they want to go around hurt, harming people with um, sharp objects. I mean, because, you know, it could actually be a knife that stabs or it could be a pole or it could be a sharp stick. I mean, some kind of stabbing energy, but I hope you best protect yourself. So hopefully you're not the stabber. Um, that's terrible. That is terrible. But I heard it's me uh, basically going to be made known around the wildfire, around the community. Um, it's, it sounds like maybe possible news energy there uh, for the stabbing. 
you plug it in how that resonates devil upright that's the stabbing energy and the slashing of the tires energy um judgment upright judgment call i think when the police get called whatever leo's tires get slashed and judgment call when somebody gets stabbed either one person or two or more people i heard it'd be best to protect yourself away hopefully you're not the stabber you plug it in how it resonates this is terrible um hopefully i mean for some of you guys i feel this might be the stabber and i'm serious um because they sold your money and they have no regrets from it and they there's something not correct up here so but you plug it in how that resonates if that resonates for you this is terrible all right let's get some tea leaves i mean the bot the back energy is terrible the back energy is these are not good now this is fantastic this is fantastic but this is not good energy somebody is very jealous somebody doesn't like it sounds like you picked yourself up whoever this is for somebody has been very jealous of you in the past spirit messages you have reflected somebody's been very very jealous of you in the past they've been blocking 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 like serious karmic energy but it's like they won't quit they won't quit and it sounds like their true colors are about to come out um so i would just be very careful and really stay to myself and i mean not necessarily you know i'm not gonna isolate yourself but just be careful who you put yourself around um because you definitely don't want to be around the stabbing person um or the person that stole the money from you i mean who, that wouldn't be smart either spirit messages you have for the question all right and for some the justice could be the maybe if you were the one that's going to be stabbed um or witness to the person that's going to be stabbed maybe you help bring um justice to the situation if you're a witness possibly the world is a can be a cray cray place oh wow so i feel okay so we got two leave, tea leaves out there's approximately 110 tea leaves in that deck we got out two v's v is in victory and valley which is a v so i feel for some of you guys i think the letter v is very significant to you in some shape, form, or fashion to you or somebody you're connected to. Because that hardly ever happens. B and B. And these are both very positive cards. Just saying, just saying. With the justice upright in there. And the sun together. So maybe your first initial starts with a, a B. Or your middle initial or your last initial of your name starts with a V. Um, possibly for some of you guys. Like Victor or Victoria or Vicky or... Um, or um, Something of that nature, um, or a last name or a middle initial. That's what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Or the letter B is significant to you in some shape, form, or fashion. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Victory in some endeavor, B. And Aquarius is about to be very, very significant. In helping bring justice to a Leo, an Aquarius and a Libra. And a Capricorn for some. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so I heard an Aquarius, a Libra, and a Capricorn is about to be very significant in bringing justice to a, um, a particular Leo soon. So, um, that could be one person, you know, it could be for some, it could just be the Aquarius that helps bring you justice in some shape or fashion. For some, it could be the Libra, for some, it could be the Caps, for some, it could be, um, all those people, for some, it could be two or more. You plug it in, how it resonates. They could have Aquarius, Libra, or Caps, and there's some moon rising Venus, or they may or Jupiter, but you have B, victory, and some endeavor. So you're going to be victorious in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I heard it was through the legal system. For some, I heard it was universal justice. For some, I heard it was both. So you plug that in, however that resonates, which is this energy right here, which is going to make you very happy. And you got the victory. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's all right here, all coming together, cards and messages. That's really beautiful. A particular Leo is very, very good with money. 
and their money manifestation is about to be at an all-time high. It's going to be able to propel them to make some very, very smart financial moves very soon. And really focus on a wonderful career for some. Wow, this is beautiful, man. This You just can't get any better than this. You cannot. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some of you guys, you're very good with money. So you have healthy, you have a healthy relationship with money. So you don't spend, you're not, um, you're not like a, um, you're not a gold digger, digger one. I feel you go out and you make your own money. However you make it, I feel you do it legally. Whoever this is for, you're high vibrational. I think you do it legally. I don't think you do it behind the scenes. Excuse me. I don't think you do it behind the scenes. I think you do it legally. Um, and you have a healthy relationship with money. So you don't money launder. You don't steal. You don't have like those slush funds. You don't, you don't do it in an illegal, nasty way. You um, do it in a healthy, copacetic way. And I think somebody knows you do it that way. I think a Capricorn, a Libra, and a Aquarius knows this. Either one of these people or three of these people or 300 of these people because it could be 100 Libras, two Caps, and um, five Aquariuses for all I know. But some someone knows you do. Um, you do it in a healthy way. Now, for some, they could have the evidence proven you do. For some, they could just interact with you in a work environment or business environment or um, et cetera, et cetera, and they just know you do in some shape, form, or fashion. But they're going to help bring you justice to this, give you victory, make you happy, bring you justice to it, um, because they know you do. And I heard since you do have such financial, healthy financial boundaries and healthy financial relationship with money, your money manifestation is, for some of you guys, is about to come at all-time high. So since you have such a positive relationship with money, and you know how to save, and you know how to invest in a proper way, when your money manifestation comes at an all-time high, you'll be able to save most of it, it sounds like. Now, I'm not saying you'll be able to save all of, it, all of it, but you'll probably be able to save most of it, which will help you be able to invest it in very healthy, copacetic things, giving you victory in the universal stance as well. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. And for some, the victory could be in the legal standpoint. For some, it could be the new career. Um. I'm, I'm not feeling love in here. I'm not feeling love. For some, it could be victory of staying away from the stabber. Um, for some, it could be victory, maybe this mentally unstable femme energy that stole from you gets locked up, maybe, for some. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Through many series of chain of events, a Leo is going to have lots of confidence and motivation and desire in their community again. Very, and be very at peace. Universal justice. It's really going to piss off some people, but they are very low vibrational. And through a series of chain of events, a Leo and Aquarius is going to grow closer. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap. You're drawing in an Aquarius energy very, very strong, Leo. Very strong. Um, in a positive sense, I will tell you that. Um, in a positive sense, um, I don't think it's the mentally unstable femme energy. I'll tell you that. Um, I feel for some of you guys, this person's going to get locked up, and that will be your justice. I'm serious. Um, and your money is going to get returned to some of you guys, I feel, possibly. Um, so I don't think it's that person. Um, I think it's the person, they're on the positive end helping you, but um, they're, they're helping you in a huge way. Uh, whether you're paying them to help you or not, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. But they are helping you. Um, and it sounds like they're going to continue to help you. But um, however that resonates, though, I heard you're about to get universal justice. So some judicial, some universal, it's all on the place in here. But this is universal justice. Um, I heard in your community. I think for some, you've been gang stalked, you've been harassed, you've been bullied, like really, really bad in the past. And I don't feel it was like two weeks. I feel it went on for some of you guys for years, for years. 
um, and you're about to get justice in that. Um, and this Aquarius is about to help you. Um, you got Aquarius help in here er uh, earlier and more Aquarius help. Um, but um, art is going to give you peace. It's going to make you feel peace in your community, in your world. And you, for whoever this is for, you haven't had peace in your community and world. It sounds like in a while. But this Aquarius helping you, mask on our fam, Aquarius helping you is going to help bring the peace to uh, to you inside yourself, I think. Um, because for some, you've been harassed and bullied and gang salt for so long. I think you just didn't have that self-assurance inside yourself. I think your confidence kind of went down because um, it happened for so long that it's hard to keep your confidence up. It's hard to keep the faith when you know it's still going on and um, and you know it's still going on. But it sounds like whoever this is resonating with, it's about to stop. It's about to stop or it's already stopped. And it's going to give you lots of peace inside yourself. I heard it's going to make your confidence go up in a huge way. So that's the self-assurance, um, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So um, peace inside yourself. I think I think it's gang stalking and bullying. I didn't hear that in here, but I feel that for some of you guys. And I'm just being serious. But I heard through basically many series of chain events, um, you and an Aquarius will get cl um, closer. That's what I heard, closer. So um I feel that could be a possible connection. Like that could be a friend connection. I'm feeling for some, that could be a friend connection. For some, I feel it could be a platonic connection. For some, it could be a co-working connection. For some, it could, I do. I feel that it's starting, it will be platonic. For some, it could be a neighbor. For some, um, for some a neighbor, for some a co-worker, because you've got new, new career energy in here, a new job energy, which is in a career path oriented sector. Um, for some, it could be a coworker. For some, it could be um, something of that nature. But for some, it could be um, somehow you're connected to them is what I'm trying to say. You're connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion. But through many series of chain events, you're going to get closer is what I'm saying. So obviously, you will be communicating with them. I think it's going to start off platonic is what I'm trying to say, whether it's in a business situation, a work situation, a neighbor situation. Um, a co-working situation, a collaboration, maybe you go in business together, um, whatever it is, but they are po they will be positive in your life. For some, they're already in your life um, and it's going to grow. But I think it's going to start off platonically, whoever this is for, I think you're guarded emotionally. I think you're guarded emotionally and you're going, maybe the walls are going to start going down once you start trusting them is what I think for some. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, which I think will give you peace. Um, possibly for some. That's what I feel. Let me see if I hear anything else. Someone really likes staring at your butt a lot. And someone will tell you this soon. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, that <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, it's kind of bomb diggity um, that they have the balls to tell you that, actually. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're looking at how it resonates. Uh <laughs> I heard someone really likes staring at your butt a lot. <laughs> so that, you know, a butt is a butt is a butt is a butt to some people, but apparently you might be one of their favorite butts or your favorite, it might be the favorite butt of theirs. I heard they like staring at it a lot. Or maybe it's in their top five of their butts. I don't know, but they like staring at it a lot. I'll tell you that. So I don't think it's just, oh yeah, that's okay one. No, no, no. I think, um, no, honey. I think that um, they think they like it a lot, a lot, a lot. It might be the Aquarius that you're drawing in so strong. But um, or, um, for some of you guys, they're going to tell you soon. They're going to tell you they like your butt soon. So, you know, they're not going to um, hold back. They're not going to hold back. And I think they're going to open up and feel comfortable enough to open up to tell you they like staring at your butt, apparently. Now, they haven't done anything wrong. I mean, they're just staring at your butt you know, look, don't touch energy. Um, 
is what I'm feeling. But um, at least they feel comfortable enough to open up and tell you they like staring at your butt. Just saying. Um, they don't think you're going to, you know, claim sexual harassment on them or something like that. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Let me see if I hear anything else. Jim, Joanna, Carly, Jim, Joanna, Carly, Liz, Liz, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jackson, Cooper Hall, Jonathan, Jackson, Cooper Hall, Farley, Mountain Road, Farley and Mountain Road. Farley and Mountain Road. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. How that resonates? Now, I, Farley, Mountain Road, Cooper, I don't, you know, how that resonates? Those, some of those sound like names. So that could be name, first, middle, um, first name, middle name, last name, nickname of you or somebody you're connected to. Or it could be a name of an institution or a place um, that you visit or frequent or somebody you visit somebody connected to you visits or frequents, or it could even, even be like a possible street name or um, organization or a place of business or something like that, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but somehow these, those names are, I think, are connected to you guys in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in how it resonates, and I do strongly feel the letter V is strongly connected to some of you guys, just for real, for real. Two V, positive V cards in this reading. Um, Victory, baby. Just saying. Um, if that resonates. Okay. Smith. Surly. Shirley. Smith, Surly, and Shirley. Smith, Surly, Surly, like S U R L E Y, Surly, and Shirley. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Same thing. First name, middle name, last name, nickname, significant street name. Uh, possibly, or an uh, um, organization, or a business, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some, um, somehow, those names possibly could be connected to you um, in some shape, form, or fashion. All right, I love you guys. Longest reading so far. Love you. Namaste.